Alright, hello, I'm back with another tutorial, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn about uh, well, we're going to apply the feature into our RPG game, Saving. I thought not many people cover this tutorial, and I've had a look on YouTube, and hardly none of them work. Um, and yeah, I think mine, yeah, mine works, yeah, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work for other people. So if you follow this tutorial, it'll work, don't worry. Um, so let's get started. Right, so what you want to do for saving is first we're going to um, set up like uh, we're going to do it at the start so it runs through saving first. So we're going to go var save data. You can name this whatever you want, just refer to this name as it. Data. All the scripts are being. Um, the description anyway so if you can't be bothered to copy it down just copy it just copy and paste <laughs> right shared objects that's like a file in your computer or something it's like a place in your computer where cookies get stored game cookies equals shared objects dot get local and then you want to put a name here you can put any name um in quotation marks, Oops, wrong. quotation marks. I'm just gonna put a uh, save test one two three one one two three. You want to think of like a quite different name because uh, other people's games, like from the internet, flash games from the internet, what have save features. I'll also have to do this. So if you have the same name as them, it's going to mess up all your data and that. So if you just think of quite a strange name, whatever, and it'll save us that and they're like kind of shared objects. Yeah. And now we want to define the function save. Function. Save. Void because it doesn't return anything. Don't think. <laughs> Oh no, oops. Close it. There. Right, now we want to put all our variables in this function to set them up in the shared objects. So go underscore root dot. Oh no, one second. First we want to underscore root dot uh, save save data dot clear clear there and this will clear the current save data so data won't be saved over another one so if you click save then you click save again it'll clear it then it'll save it so you know what I mean it won't like double save so now we have to save the variables run screw dot save data see we've called we'll call save data because we've called this save data you can call these whatever you want. Save data there, save data there. Um, doesn't really matter. As long as you call it same name from here. Um, root dot save data dot data um, dot right levels. Let's say levels equals underscore root dot levels so level we're going to set up a variable in the shared objects called levels and that equals levels levels there right, we'll do this for all of them I'm just going to pause the video for timing I'm going to do it for all of them alright I'm back and I've done that Um, I've set up all the variables all the variables we'll have here and I've also set up the coordinates of the player here. So it'll save the coordinates of the player um, in the shared objects as MCX and MCY. And that equals the coordinates of the player. It saves the coordinates of the values. Uh, now, oops, forgot about this. Now I actually have to save this data we set up. Because we're just setting it up, we're not actually saving it when we leave. So, um, Go underscore root dot save 
data yeah dot flush looks like flush right and that should save our data but there's a problem here because you saved it but now you need to access it so we need to make a load function so um, we'll go function uh, load we'll make it capital L because it's a keyword if it's not um, void because it didn't return anything uh, don't think it does anyway um, close it up and this time it's a little bit of we we added around right so underscore root dot um underscore root dot just thinking a uh, levels yeah level lev can't spell levels levels equals underscore root dot save d dot data dot levels so equals our data dot levels root levels on load right yeah I think that's it and now I'll just pause the video where I'll do that again all the variables you have to do all these again and these but in this kind of format but for load so just replace all the variable names here and here about 10 times uh, yeah and you came back I've done all load I've set the coordinates up again just, it's basically just doing it the other way around like swapping this side for this side on all of them and instead of underscore dot save data dot data dot max health equal underscore dot max health it's underscore dot max health equal underscore dot save data dot data dot max health so you basically just reload your data it's quite simple right now we need a clear function so if the person didn't want the game anymore uh, they can clear it so um, we've got function I don't know if this is a void uh, clear I think this will return anything no it doesn't it isn't so void void um might not be uh, yeah right void we'll just do this line underscore dot save data dot clear that clear it. Right, that's everything going to be saved now. Let's test this out. First, we have to make some save and load buttons and that. So, um, get a square, square. Some text. Do this one. Save. Save. Button. Button. Save. Text goes here. Save Lord Lord, yeah, and clear. So lock that there. Can I see that? Oops. Lord, clear. It's not the best 
just uh, buttons, but you can make different ones. Like you can make a save button badge for quickness. I just uh, made them all the same button. Just gonna put different action script on them. Um, so on press. Press could do this more efficient, you could do it from the main timeline uh, button clicking, but we'll just do it here. So I'm press of save, call function save underscore root dot save underscore root dot dot save. And did we call it? Did we put a capital T on save? Um, I think we did. Uh, yes, we did. Right, load to we need load. Again for quickness, press copy. Control V. Load. Clear. Oh, clear. Should all work fine. Probably won't, but let's. As I said. <laughs> um. Line thirteen. Let's deal with some of these errors. Uh, one sec, I'm gonna go away for a second and sort them out. Then I'll tell you. All right, hello. I had a quick scan through and found the problem. Void isn't spelled. With, all the voids aren't spelled with capital V. All right. V. And here, the, I've put two semicolons. Now, when I play it, when I play it, it should work. Right. So basically, right, I get some stuff. Uh, go over here, get me level up. Click save. I go off. Then when I click load, it loads us back here. There's a little glitch here. Um, when I clicked, as you can see. Go back when I click load. I picked the item up before, but it hasn't registered as I've had it, and that's because in the load function we need to call these functions because you're just getting the load function, but you're not calling any of these functions to tell us that there's stuff in the inventory. So we'll call all the functions in the load function. Let's go root dot use item. Um, item pickup. Let's get that one. I'll just go root dot item pickup. Uh, let's do the level up function. Actually, do we have to? Um, one second, we'll do the use item to function first. I was just wondering there what actually calls level up. Oh, the button does, doesn't it? Um, no, we'll just leave the level up function out for now. Shouldn't matter. Uh, can always put it in. Right, so now we'll clear the save. Yeah, it's glitched a bit. I can't even press it because I've got text there. One second. Right, delete the text. Oh, God. Uh, I'll delete the text just for demonstration purposes. Uh, I'll clear the save. Now, if I click load, it glitches a bit. Probably need that to patch. You get everything undefined and you can't do nothing. Probably need to do a null reference there or something. But I'll do that in my next tutorial. But now, if I get some stuff, uh, let's get two stuff. And now I'll click save. Go off, click load. Still don't have them. Wonder why that is. Um, one second, I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to quickly have a look. I'll just pause it. Uh, the right. I just had a really quick scan through, and I think I found the problem. It's because we'll have use item in here, and that only gets called when you click it. So I just need item pick up. That's it. So. Uh, I think if we load now, yeah, we'll have both the things. It's a bit glitched because you can 
like now I can save I can go off then I can load again and the things are still there I can load I eat them and then I get more so a bit of glitches going on there but I can patch that all in my next series so that's all for today alright bye subscribe <laughs>